Right then, in this step we need um, another adjustment layer. So, we need to click on new adjustment layer and this one's going to be a levels adjustment layer so we're going to change some of the levels on this image. Okay, so once you've done that you can see that it should be clipped to the sky layer. If it's not, make sure that you do clip it. Um, and then I just want you to change the settings of your levels adjustment so that you're pulling on this little white manipulator and I'm going to change that to about 162 so about there okay and we're just gonna do the same as before to just have an effect um, on the image as a whole so making sure that you've got this still selected and you've still got your brush tool on we're just gonna paint sort of a circle in here like that and then just fill that in like so there we go I think that's coming together um, make sure it's clipped to your sky layer and again I'm going to drop the opacity because I don't want it to be too strong just a slight effect so there we go that's that bit done um, next what we're going to go for is we're going to um, we're going to add another bit of sky in I think so we're going to open another image and we're going to open this other skies image that we've not used yet so on mine it's called skies 0238 underscore L I think that's the one I want anyway yeah, yeah it is so we're going to bring that in to um, our image like so and that's gone wrong I'm going to undo that you can see because of the layer I was on it's put the sky where I didn't want it so I'm just going to select my background layer before I do this this time drag the image in and then it goes behind everything and then I can just drag it on top of everything like that so I can see this sky it's not getting in my way so I'm just going to find the corner of it okay and then I'm going to press Control and T to bring up my free transform tool I'm pressing shift I'm going to scale this down so that it'll fit on screen like so so I want it to be a little bit big and I'm also just going to put it on an angle um, I actually want it to be bigger than that I think yeah something like that ok so I'm going to put it on an angle I'm just going to place it about there and I'm going to use this to fill in the remainder of the sky um, that I haven't already done so I'm just going to tick on that and then using the erase tool I'm just going to fill in the top of the sky so as I did before this time I'm going to start with my opacity at 100% because the bottom of this image I definitely don't want so just going to get that erased like that and I just want to see where my other sky is so I can go quite high up with this but I'd just like to keep it quite subtle. So now I'm just going to change the opacity of my brush just to try and create an effect and hopefully merge these a little bit. So I think that looks that looks okay. So I've now filled the top of my sky in. So what we've now got to do is colour correct this um, in the same sort of way as we've done with the images below to make sure that it looks like part of the same sky. So we'll do that in the next video.